All right, we're back. Bulking day three. Recovered fine from uh, squats yesterday. Didn't really do that much anyway, so not too much to recover from. Um, today, we got chest and triceps. First set, obviously, you saw 265. We got eight, um, and I'll show you the, uh, the rest in a second. Here's the weather outside. Looking decent. Not too bad. Not 95 degrees, so we got that going. Gonna check the body weight. No shoes, trying to stay consistent when possible. Oh boy. Yeah, food's been a little bit off the last day. So that kind of makes sense. Not the best start to the bulk. Um, but we shall redeem because returning to vacation tonight so hopefully I'll uh, get back on track with the food. Uh, let me show you the workout. Hang on. All right. So we did the 265, got eight. We're going to go 245 now and 225. That's that extra set for volume, for more volume. Then we're going to go two sets of incline, then some incline fly, and then some scope. All right. So I gave it a good rest, probably a little too long. So now we're back with the 245. Yes, 245. And... Hopefully, I feel like 10 might be doable. Um, I moved the safeties up, so a little bit safer there. Um, but I have to be a little more controlled with the weight, and I can't really sink it into the chest as much, so it's a trade-off. I really feel my scapulas pushing into the bench. Like, so much of that compresses. I'll be excited at some point to replace this. Um, I feel like I'm leaving some gains on the table, but this bench has been good. Um, it's just, I'm sure at a certain point, people switch to probably what would be called a competition bench. Not that I'm going to compete in bench pressing, but I think just over a certain weight you know it's like a more solid bar for squatting i've got that a deadlift bar for deadlifting you know certain changes adaptations a little rest we'll drop it 225 okay last set on flat bench and then we're moving on to incline and then the uh, lighter weight stuff i feel like 12 should be doable on this uh, but we'll see because this is the extra set so to speak and i haven't been pushing the volume as much of the bench i basically just been doing one high rep set with 260 getting like between six and eight reps so this is uh this is good i think also considering the lower body weight today i think if i went heavy i i don't think i don't think it would be good you know you got to uh, pick and choose your battles also i've noticed when i'm a little little tired and uh, under fueled that right shoulder tilt thing starts to come back. So we do not want that to occur because that's been gone for a long time. So I want to keep that.
see it hit a little bit. Ah, all right, that was good. A little rest. Look at the inclines. All right, so I am actually doing my back and bicep workout right after this because um, I'm not doing it tomorrow. I don't want to miss it, so I'm still going to do something. So what I'm going to do, because I'm uh, ever more quickly running out of time. I don't know if that's appropriate grammar, but you know what I mean. Um, I think I'm going to combine. I'm going to do one set on the incline, just try and get 10, 8 to 10, right into flies, little rest, get the crushers, and then that way I can still get a couple sets of uh, back and bicep stuff. Um, that video I'll, I'll drop tomorrow, so we'll still get a video every day. Don't worry, keeping that streak alive. Um, but yeah, I think if I did if I did two sets on the incline, two sets on the fly, then the skull crushers, I would just run out of time. So here we go, 205 on the incline, slow and controlled, and hopefully, I think 10 will be doable. Um, should be good. Yeah, that looks solid. Hopefully 10. We shall see. All right, eight nice control. Give it a couple seconds. And then we'll get the flies. Good workout today, though. I like, contrary to what I say all the time, I mean, I do like changing things up occasionally. Um, just not every workout. Like at the next workout, I said, all right, you know, I'm going to go 225 and try and get 15. Okay, that's great. But I didn't build on the successful sets of 8 to 10 from today, you know. I'm thinking I'll do Friday, make that the heavier chest workout. Try and do, you know, a heavy single or sets of three because I think, I think I'll, I'll do a lot better doing that instead of just exclusively sets of eight to 10. Um, I think if I do just the sets of eight to 10, that'll be fine, but I don't know, that's not as fun. I like to I like to hit that max effort occasionally or the three rep. I really want to knock out 315 for three. Hopefully this Friday, because I believe we'll be able to use a uh, Thompson fat pad. Anybody knows what that, what that is? Um, the uh, gym on vacation has really like a huge amount of cool equipment um it's like very power lifting strong man oriented so they've got plenty of good stuff All right, a little recovery. We'll get the uh, crushers. And then we'll do a back and bicep workout, and it'll be good. I've had too many experiences with taking a day off and then coming back and having things feel tougher that uh, I, just, I just don't do it anymore. Um, I can see like a month-long ripple when I take a, uh, a week off doing deadlifts. Um, 
I'm sure back and biceps would probably be, you know, okay, but still there would be, there would be a little bit of a drop. So I always try and find a way to do it. Um, you know, whatever, whatever that means, a little bit of an adjustment, less sets, less reps, whatever. All right, let's uh, give it a couple seconds and we'll go for it. All right, so we got the standard skull crusher weight, the 45s, probably 10, and then we'll drop to the 22s, and then we'll get some, uh, some pull-ups and curls in. Don't be disappointed by the brevity of tomorrow's video. Maybe it could be a good, you know, how to uh, get your workout in an efficient, super efficient time. All right, decent. Give it a couple seconds. Make post workout today two cans of tuna. Not exactly the best for bulking, but it's what we got. Probably have to find some carbs too, because that is not going to do it. All right. Pretty quick, I know, but still got it done. And we did hit a volume PR on flat bench, so I'll take it. It felt really good to knock out some high rep sets. Um, I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then start the uh, back and bicep workout. Like I said, it'll be a shorter video. It'll probably just be, I don't know, one set of everything basically, but it'll keep everything feeling strong and ready for uh, Saturday's back and bicep workout. Appreciate the support as always. We are almost to 3K subscribers, which is super, super cool. I'm hoping we'll get there by the end of the week, possibly. I think I need like another 80 people to, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you're watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe if you like the content. If you don't like the content, then probably don't, because if you do subscribe, then YouTube will give you a bunch of more, a bunch more content, similar to my content. So choose wisely. Of course, if you made it this far in the video, you probably do like the content. So. All right, I'm going to get some water and then we'll see you tomorrow. Hope you're having an excellent day. Hope you are about to work out or maybe you're working out right now or maybe you're working out later. Either way, crush it. Good luck on the journey towards your goals, whatever they may be, um, and uh, document. Track your progress. That's the way for sure. All right, I'm going to go write down my uh, progress for the day. <laughs> All right, peace.